I'm going to tie a sort of a willy gun type temple dog now. And this here is a, a T tube, it's a brass T tube. Uh, it's a 15 millimeter one from uh, Frankensnelda. And it has like a little flange at the end here so that you can tie up and your silk shouldn't shouldn't go past it. Uh, and then it, what I'll do here, tie on this then I'll line it whenever I have the fly tied with a 1.8 millimeter liner. And then if you want you can put a bit of junction tubing on the back to accept a hook. So I'm gonna go for a red head, so I'm taking a a red tie in thread here. And I'm gonna tie in a little bit of uh of gold over the pencil to do a butt. I'll take that down to the point where it joins on to our vice holding it. And then four or five turns of our gold. take that up that I'm going to use it as a rib as well so I'm taking it forward then I'm going to fold it back on itself and come back here to our just ahead of our tie in point so for a tail I'm going to use uh, a little bit of yellow sort of fiber so I'll take a little bunch of that there pull it past itself a little bit so it's not all the one length and I'm going to tie it in about a third of the way along its length and fold it back on itself and that will give me a, a taper with the under portion being shorter than the bit that went above it and to accentuate that you can trim it off at, a, at an angle from underneath no. <coughs> if you want you can add a little butt to this, I suppose in a traditional sort of a fly that would have been ostrich, but uh, in these sorts if you take something like merino, black merino wool, you can get a very fine little dubbing card made, and a couple of wraps of that will create a a little bit then I'll take what was left of my tinsel and take it back and tie it in flat up to the to the butt. Now this is a golden woody gun so I'm gonna tie in a bit of gold flat braid. onto a little bit of super glue. Use uh, super glue and use uh, clear varnish here if you want. Make ourselves a gold body. Fold it back at the tie in and cut it off and then use our rib forward because it's a short fly three maybe four turns so <coughs> I'm gonna stick to the willy gun color scheme here that should be uh, yellow orange and black so the first bit I'm going to use is this, and this is a bit of a fox pelt, shadow fox pelt uh, in a, a yellow colour, again from Frankensnelde, and this is a, a, a 
look for lots and lots of different furs but the shadow fox pelt here is a very true colour and a very very fine uh, hair on it. Generally I would look for like a fox mask and the fox, the hair at the back of it is very very high quality but this is a whole patch uh, of that so and the red in it as well is very true coloured red so I'm going to take a little bunch of that there I'm going to tie it in across the butt of it pointing forwards and then fold it back and put a wrap across it little wrong screw glue here just to make sure of that and now I'm going to wrap on part of a yellow soft hackle so take a hen hackle here and I'm going to fold it over and double it and we're going to get on one two turns probably of that there so I'll snap off the tip I'm ignoring the shortest part of it there Tie that in across the tip and fold it back. And then we'll wrap on one or maybe two turns, whatever it gets out of it. Fold back the stock. Cut it off. So Take a little bit of uh, holographic gold light bright. Take a little bunch of fibres of that, and I'm just going to fold that <coughs> over on itself. To add a little bit of flash into the wing at this point, and then I'll just trim it up at an angle there. And next, I'm going to put in a little bit of uh, an orange Arctic fox here. will be a little bit longer than the yellow so I'll just pull out the under fur of that and measure it up for length I'm going to trim that off a little bit longer than the intended length I'm just going to misalign the tips a little bit and as we did before tie in Pointing forwards, a couple of turns. And now I'm going to use my thumbnail to spread it out across the top of the tube. Again, a little touch of glue. Orange soft tackle, hopefully to be slightly longer if possible in fibre than the yellow one. And again I'm going to double that, prior to tying in and nick off the tip so that the first fibres hopefully are similar in length to the yellow that went before it, tie it into the tip, fold it back, tie it across itself and wrap that on. this which is like a peacock mirage it's one of my favorite 
flash products. I'm going to put four strands of this in here. So I'm taking one strand pulled out. And I'm going to fold it double over it on itself. And take that out so that it's the length of the orange section. Tie it in and fold it back. Then that will make four fibers. And these ones I'll cut off longer than the set that went underneath it. And now I want a black wing for the top of the flight. I'll use here a bit of uh, temple dog or tanuki or something fine like that. You can use long black or dick fox as well. Measure it out over the top for length. Cut it off for length and again. I'm going to tie that in reverse, but this time I'm going to put on my hackle first. So I have a black soft hackle, longer in fibre again than what went underneath it. And I'm going to double it. Nip off the tip, tie it in, fold it over, tie across it, and then wrap. One or one and a half turns, whatever I got out of that. Now I'll fold back the top wing that we had. Stroke back all our fibers there. I'll take a run of glue, put it on two inches or so of our thread, and hold it all back in place. If you wanted, you could have put jungle cock in there, but traditionally the hair ring version of it didn't, so I haven't put it in there either. So that's like a Willy Gone Temple Dog tied on a Frankensnelda 15mm T tube. And I'm just going to put a little run with super glue. Finish that. And see when that dries up, 
it'll get a coat of, uh, of clear varnish like Sally Hansen's hard as nails over the top of it. But that is our Willy Gum.